Tensions high today at the Auraria campus in Denver. About 40 pro-Palestinian demonstrators were arrested for trespassing. Now, police were out in riot gear, fanned out, clashing with these protesters. And then the protesters formed a human chain, linking arms and then surrounding the police. Mayor Mike Johnston met with protesters today. He asked students to comply with campus police while they asked him to let their fellow protesters out of jail. People are camping out again tonight. Denver 7's Jessica Crawford's live out there and uh, Looks much calmer at this hour, Jessica. Yes, a little quieter, but this protest still goes on. Shannon and Jessica, if you just take a look behind me, you can see people are camped out in tents right now. They are braving this rainy weather, and like you said, they've been out here all day, locking arms with one another to show their support, even when under the watchful eyes of police officers. Friday afternoon, dozens of students gathered at the Tivoli Quad for a protest in support of Palestine. Several of the attendees putting up tents. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Protesting, often hand in hand, asking CU to divest from corporations that operate in Israel, reject grants and funding from organizations that have military ties with Israel, as well as shut down study abroad programs in the Middle Eastern country. They're also asking that CU Denver fully disclose its financial investments and for school leaders to meet with students to discuss and implement their ideas. They are simply asking for the University of Colorado to divest all funds from Israel. Linda Amin Badwan, an advocate and Palestinian, came to show the students support and share her own story of loss. I have lost a couple of family members, unfortunately, um, in the West Bank. Um, and it was completely unnecessary, the way that they were killed. Not in our name, no genocide, and never again for anyone. Darren Copeland of the Denver Boulder chapter of Jewish Voices for Peace was there as dozens of officers stood watching the protesters Friday afternoon. We see an over-aggression of police presence and a huge repression of protesters, and we've been seeing that through this whole movement. However, we will not let them, their fear and intimidation stop us. As the rain came down over the protesters. Many of them stood their ground in support of Palestine. This is just one more step in the direction of chipping away at what needs to be done in order to fight for the rights of the Palestinian people and all people who are oppressed. And it does continue to rain out here, but they came out prepared. They were having, they had ponchos, of course. They brought their tents, they brought food. It seems like they plan to stay out here for a while. And this isn't the only place where this is happening across the country. Also in Columbia University and at Ohio State, just to name a few. From the Tivoli Quad, I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7.